This year, more than 250,000 women will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer, and at least 40,000 women will die from breast cancer. But tens of thousands more women would die if it weren't for mammograms. So does getting a mammogram every year really help? Regular mammography use has reduced breast cancer deaths by nearly 40% since screening began in the mid-1980s. But it's more than that. Mammograms find tumors when they are small, before you can feel them, and when they can be better treated. This gives women a better chance for less surgery, less toxic chemotherapy, and less radiation treatment. Are there any risks to having a mammogram? Mammograms don't find all cancers, and they do find things that turn out not to be cancer. Some women who get a mammogram will be asked to come back for another test to confirm or rule out that something is wrong. If those tests rule out cancer, some people call the result of the first mammogram a false positive. For every 100 women who get a screening mammogram, 90 will find out that there is no sign they have breast cancer. 10 will be asked to come back for another mammogram or ultrasound exam to take a closer look at something. Two will be recommended to have a needle biopsy, and fewer than one in every 100 women screened will have breast cancer. What is overdiagnosis? It's when a test finds a cancer that would not kill you before something else does. Only a few percent of cancers may fit this description, and medical science can't yet tell which cancer will advance to kill and which won't. The only way to know is to not treat the cancer and see what happens. Barring a miracle, invasive breast cancers don't go away or get smaller if left untreated. It is only a matter of time before these cancers kill. My doctor said my breasts are dense. Does that increase my risk of getting breast cancer? Having dense breasts may increase your risk of getting breast cancer. It also makes it more difficult for doctors to spot cancer on mammograms. Dense tissue appears white on a mammogram, but so do cancers and other lumps. This means mammograms can be less accurate in women with dense breasts. Every time I have a mammogram, I have such anxiety waiting for my test results. This is normal and will pass without lasting effects. The possibility of missing a cancer that kills thousands of people each year is a greater concern, particularly since breast cancer can be so effectively treated when caught early. The American College of Radiology and Society of Breast Imaging continue to advise women to start getting annual mammograms at the age of 40 and continue as long as they are in good health.